Test. <laughs> testing, testing. If you can hear me, say ooh. Yeah. 
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world, it's the biggest problem in the universe! I'm your host, Dick Masterson. Joining me as always is Vito Giswaldi. Hi, Dick. I feel like I'm giving a press conference. <laughs> <laughs> I and today is news. Kobe. I'm sorry, I raped that girl. Here's your four million dollar way. What's a, what's the most offensive thing about that joke that I just made? Which part is it? Is it the rape or the it's helicopter crap? It's the rape. Crap? It's the rape. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good. Yeah. Oh, One I'm so glad we're doing the show so I don't have to be on Twitter talking about Eric July for two hours. <laughs> I know you would rather be on Twitter talking about Eric July. <laughs> I know that. Uh, wow, guys. When we first started this show, we never thought we'd get to 108 episodes, but here we are. <laughs> Is that your voice? What a show. What a show. No, I won't do the radio voice. This show, uh, honestly, um, I never thought I would get a, a Biggest Problem episode 108, but here I am. <laughs> before you. This is a press conference. You finally got uh, an episode 108. Thank Dick. you all, but mo for most importantly, uh, the most the most important um, piece of this puzzle, the guy that made it all happen, because nobody else could take as much abuse as Vito has taken for wow. two years. A, a big hand for Vito Thank for you. making this possible. Whenever I think 50% is too much for him, I was like, man, this motherfucker's making a lot of money. I'll go read, I'll go read the comments on the latest episodes. Oh, wow, that's really mean. That guy that said, woohoo. Well, I'm it's not enough. It is enough, but. It's fun to go back to like episode one where they're like, wow, I hate this fat piece of shit. And you go to like episode one and seven, and they're like, I don't know, that fat piece of shit's growing on me, but he's still a fat they, piece of they shit. They always explain exactly how they hated you in the I like Vito tech yeah. messages. It's always, you know, Vito grew on me. I used to fucking hate him. <laughs> I used to stink about what a sick pedophile. I wanted he him was. dead. I, they wanted me dead. Burn all of his Funko Pops in front of his face. And now they're like, I'd let him fuck one kid, but that's <laughs> anything more than that. Meh. Thank you, guys. I think we've got a great show, and uh, the community is great, and uh, this sounds gay. Why don't we... Uh, Did anyone get attacked outside by a fentanyl addict? Yeah, any homeless. Oh, yeah. Not yet? Oh, let's see. Is that door locked? Jim, it may keep it open a little bit, because somebody gets wild in here. Like a Chrissy Mayer repeat show. Somebody handed me this. Where's the super killer guy? Is he here? Yeah. Can him come super here. killer come is here. here. Come on. Get up here real quick. Super killer is real. Wow. Look at this. That's wow. really good. <laughs> I'm looking for an Armenian. You're looking for an Armenian? No, no. Uh, if anyone asks you to kneel on a black man's neck, please don't do it for uh, optics purposes. We talked about this earlier. I know we did. <laughs> There's been long discussions. We didn't, get it. we didn't get the sense that you believed us. <laughs> There's this look in people's eyes sometimes, especially fans you get, where I'm like, I think you think I'm joking. <laughs> and, uh, I might, and then I think, I, maybe I am joking. He knows me better than I do. Uh, you, did you give me this backstage? And if you lean in real, really close, it says, um, I, oh no, it says, uh, does this smell like fentanyl? In really tiny letters. Yeah. Alex are you made that. are you working with Narcan? Is this a uh, promotional material? Thanks. It looks it looks awesome though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming. Does everybody get in their problems? I like the work gloves. I know it's also. Work I'm gonna take that down from. for now. Very good yeah. Uh, Sean is not here. That's what he gets. Yeah, he has the flu, or so. So he said. I don't know. 
Um, I said, well, come, just get them all sick. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from me. Um, so, sorry about Maybe that. you should have got vaxxed. So double really double care. boosted. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so I have a little bit of, uh, I have some audience stuff before we start into the show properly that I thought would be fun. This is the, uh, this is a game I have called, um, uh, feed veto trivia. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't agree to this at all. If you get it right, this is trivia. If you get it right, you get the candy. Because Vito's got to weigh in today. Um, <laughs> Why are you booing? What the fuck is that? <laughs> and if you get it wrong, uh, uh, Vito oh, gets the. Wait, Vito gets it, the candy. if they get it wrong, I have to eat candy. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> no, you don't have to eat the candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I might have a nibble. Anybody wanna? Anybody wanna do some biggest problems? Who trivia? will be the right winner? There. All right, right okay, there. All right. So this is the question. What's your name, sir? Tom. Tom, Tom everybody, Tom. give him a hand, Tom. Uh, what was the name of the man who assaulted Vito at Netflix? I don't even remember his name. Fuck. What is it? The audience can help you. Oh, I do remember his name. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Scott, no. No, no. Do you remember? Joe Cristalli. Oh. He tried to grab it out of my hands. Give me. Bonus points. Bonus points. Who, who, who wants the next one? Bonus points. Who assaulted me? Does anybody remember that guy's name? His actual name? Yeah. I mean, Antifa Smurf, but... Oh, who got that? That was Eric Boyd. Eric Boyd is correct. Okay, here's another trivia question. Who Real quick, before we do that one, I do want to remind everyone that the Frasier reboot is happening, and Joe Cristalli, no, 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 the guy who assaulted me, is attached. So anytime <laughs> you see anyone talking about the show, be sure to remind them that the head writer is a violent psychopath who attacked your favorite internet comedian. <sighs> yeah. Favorite. Um, Shut okay, up. who wants to do the next one? This is a really tough one. All right, I'll fucking slouch over here on the couch. What's going on? <laughs> wow, what a seat. Everybody else looked at that couch and said, like, no, nah, I'm not I'm not man enough to sit on that couch. You won't sit on Yeah, it's a fucking couch. He's got the best seat in the house. Uh, according to Vito, what does non-offending mean? And I need the God damn it. <laughs> I need the exact wording. The exact wording. It means dot dot dot. <laughs> Pedophile, you. Breaking the existing laws is a big no-no. Uh, close, close enough. Close. But it's not. Well, Non-offending not means okay. we understand that breaking the existing laws is a no-no. Thank you. We understand it. Me and my fellow pedoph. No. Nope. <laughs> Almost got me. Almost caught me slipping. <laughs> okay, um, here is a, according to the, according to the votes, according to the biggest problem, uh, problems board, uh, what is a bigger problem? Is it the 19th Amendment or traumatic brain injury? 19th Amendment. Dick, there's a microphone we can give to the audience somewhere. Do you have it? Oh, yeah. We're right there. Yeah, so we can pass that around if people okay. want to be heard on the show. Oh, that's, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, 19th Amendment, you, you, everyone was right here. <laughs> Wait, which one's worse? <laughs> what, were, on. what were the two options? <laughs> I didn't hear the question. You don't get any candy, this one. That's no, all no. <laughs> all right, oh, sorry. Fuck you guys. Um, now here's, uh, okay, according to the biggest problem board, you know, the voting board where you guys vote on the problems, what's a bigger problem? Uh, who wants to do that one? Let me get right there. Yeah. Is it pedophiles or the IRS? IRS. IRS. Right. IRS. IRS. Yes. Yes. It's a close one too, but yes. <laughs> that is a sanity still <laughs> way worse. Well, I don't know about way. It shouldn't worse. be close. Not, <laughs> don't put me on paper saying that. Uh, okay. What's a bigger? What's a bigger problem? Uh, who wants to do this one? Right. Uh, okay. Yo. Right there. Give him a mic. Come, come up here. here. Come talking on. to the mic That's so people can hear you. A, yeah. Can we? People on the internet need to say hear your you. name and then uh, call me yeah. Claptrap. <laughs> call me Claptrap, Claptrap is here. Destroyer. Yeah. I love your bunny ears. I got them just for you. <laughs> I, 
I love them a little bit less after you said that, like that, but I still love them. Um, what's a bigger problem, according to you guys? Is it Vito's Twitter account or autism? Vito's Twitter account. That's correct. God damn it. Okay, next. Next get, time get, I get to come up else. with some trivia questions. I is feel it, like. <laughs> is it Vito's? Who's next? You, sir, with the rook hat. Is it. Uh, N not you? Give it to somebody else. Well, ask the question and then they'll... You gotta ask the question first. Uh, no, no, no. They okay. Go. Okay, what's All your right. name? Koof. Koof's here! Thank is you for not it... killing yourself, Koof. Thank you for not killing yourself. Is it Vito's Twitter account or Famine? Uh... Probably twi uh, Vito's Twitter account. You're correct. That's yeah. correct, yeah. I'm <laughs> Anybody else want to do one of these? I, I could do... Uh, I think everyone knows it's going to be Vito's Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I think I figured out the bit. Okay, here's the last one. Last one. One more. One more. One more. Right here. I see you leaning forward. Was that a, I'm going to grab There you it. go. There you go. Well, you got it XLR, now. Mike. It's you now. You're the man now, dog. Dude, uh, what's your right. name? Will. Will. Is the, according to you guys, what's a bigger problem in the universe? Is it Hitler or cum? Come, 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 come. You're correct. Yes. You're correct. <laughs> I mean, that's what you guys. I mean, I do dislike do. cum, so I can't can't argue with that one. You, <laughs> Sorry, what was? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, Goof. There we go. <laughs> okay, is that uh, what are we doing now? Uh, let's okay. see. Uh, you know what? Uh, did you did you have, did you have some comments or something to read? Oh yeah, I do have comments. All right. So these are comments from the last episode. This is a legit episode. <laughs> what was that giggle? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I've always wanted to do this my whole fucking life. Hey Tex, are you in show business? No. Then get your boots off the stage. <laughs> Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> this has been the greatest week of my life. <laughs> you know what that's from? I don't. Blazing Saddles. Ah, oh, you're right. I did know that. Can't make that movie today. Um, okay, this is from uh, Schlingoss. Okay, I'm not a Ralph fan, but putting that music over Eric's gibbering was a stroke of genius. Are we uh, allowed to say gibbering? <laughs> well, I'm allowed to say Anytime wow. there's two consonants next to each other in reference to a black person, I get nervous. Uh, elevated it even further here by, by Vito, Vito's lyrics and Dick Stanzik. Sad Potatoes said, giant novelty scissors? Try that in a small business park, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Laughing my ass off, Eric July getting chased around his warehouse by a troll with giant novelty scissors in a Clockwork Tower sequel is something I never knew I needed. Uh, I have, I'm gonna, can, can you come up here, Riley? Riley's here, big hand for Riley. Let's hear for Riley. <laughs> Here he comes, the man it is. Come over here. Wow. I have something that I want to present to you. Okay. Okay. By the way, I'm Young Clipper 69 now. That's my Young new rap Clipper name. Young Clipper 69. I'm a professional rapper. I pulled up. What does the 69 stand for? Uh, his is 59. Mine's 69 because it's nice. Is he really 59? Young Ripper 59 is his uh, YouTube name or wow. some shit. It's a Royster 59 reference. Uh, he's uh, he's bad at this. These are incredible, and you have uh, yeah. fake blood. Yeah, it uh, says on it, have, have a, nice, a day. nice day. Wow. That's all. I just wanted him to have a good day. Have a great day. I can see why he has to take you seriously. Yeah. <laughs> but can you smell me from where you're at? Not at all. No. <laughs> How do you feel that you have uh, led to the destruction of Nick Ricada's channel? I don't care. Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> Fuck you. You call me fat. I'll pull up on you next. <laughs> no, no. Leave Ricada's warehouse alone. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> All these kids live in that warehouse. Uh, are you... What will be... Have you prepared for being shot, and what will be your last thoughts going? Oh on? yeah! No 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 no! I saw the, that tweet. <laughs> You're not, don't, Look, don't. the only reason I would ever say the N word to no. anybody. No no. 
no, no, no. That's the no, only no, no, reason no, no, I would no, ever no, say no. that, and it's only if he's killing me. If I'm exsanguinating, Even if he kills I get to you, say it. You I get the pass. You have to not say that word. No, no. Uh, because at, you have to make it seem organic. Like, you just got shot, and you're like, oh, now all of a sudden. I'm oh, right, right, right. You can't I can't premeditate my last no. word. No. <laughs> Strike that from the record. Don't bring this into court, Eric, please. I'm never getting a TV show. It's just not. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. I want to present this to you on okay. behalf of uh, The Dick Show and The Biggest Problem in the Universe and subsidiaries and our news organizations. <laughs> uh, it's the Employee of the Month. Uh, for my acceptance speech, I would like to thank you, Noel. Thank you, Noel, for making me the Employee of the Month. I never would have set off on this journey without your explicit approval Jesus of my behavior. Jesus fucking Christ. And I will keep impressing you until you die in Serbia. <laughs> so Very thank happy you. for you. Thank yes, you. thank you for this thank honor. Thank you to Riley, who is now officially an employee of the yeah. show, apparently. That's great. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, does this mean I, I'm the producer of The Biggest Problem, yeah, too? You're, not sure, just the dick show? why not? Okay, cool. Riley, I gotta say it on legal documents. <laughs> don't rip of me, okay? <laughs> Maybe. Well, thank you, Riley, for... Uh, you know, I hope your reign of terror comes to an end one of these days. Look, if I you know ever want to terrorize me by taping $20 bills to my door, well, I understand. Yeah, I got you. I'm really... <laughs> I'm going to do vandalism on everyone's car. I'm going to give everybody a dollar. No, uh, I want to say this while everybody's watching. Yeah. Okay. okay. I just want an apology, Eric. Uh, say you're sorry for flagging me, and I don't have to come back with Frank Castle and Ethan Ralph in November. <laughs> That's the fucking deal, dude. If you don't say sorry, we're coming for you. I disavow on so many levels. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. Thank you. Uh, there's nothing I would. There's nothing that would strike fear into my heart more than you three lumbering. <laughs> out of the sunset because you're waiting for night so it's criminal mischief. <laughs> you and Ethan Ralph with his cowboy hat. I'm not gonna lie. If Ethan Ralph, Frank Hassel, and Riley show up to your place of business, you fucked up somewhere in life. <laughs> you did something bad. It's just close. It's just, yeah. It's not good. Uh, okay. Well, that's fantastic. Any other comments that we had here? Oh, yeah, wait. Maybe I do have harder to do in this. This theater is a lot nicer than what I'm used to. This reminds me of when I did the Vegas show. I'm like, oh, I'm not as expensive as this theater. <laughs> this is a great theater. Guys, we are in the world famous Deaf Noodles Comedy Club. And uh, I got to remind you all to subscribe to Deaf Noodles on YouTube. Thank you for uh, hooking us up with this venue, Deaf Noodles. Yes, and he's got these two beautiful women like engineering the whole thing backstage. Yes. It's very intimidating. <laughs> Um, uh, Mitch Gooch says it really felt like Dick and Vito were the USA and Russia on the verge of a nuclear war and Eric's meltdown is the giant squid from the Watchmen that staved it off. Eric July saved the show. <laughs> and I saved independent comics. <laughs> yes! Dick saved the comic book sphere by defeating the evil Eric July. Uh, Alexander says the suicide jokes on this episode are on the level I've only heard from other morticians. Holy fuck. Were we that making suicide jokes? I did five minutes where I pretended to have a gun in my Oh, mouth. yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you also said Diane Feinstein raped you as a child. That which I went back and I rewatched. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. That wasn't a bit. She did. Okay. And then she did it again. Okay. Well, I feel like <laughs> I feel like we've covered this already. Uh, Kevin H says I absolutely hate the internet for entirely misrepresenting the Dunning Kruger effect. Oh boy, I'm not gonna give him the satisfaction. No, <laughs> fuck that guy. Okay, that's all for my. That's all of my. Fantastic, comments. Dick. Well, you know what? That kind of makes me want to do a segment. One of my favorite segments. Yeah. One called Vote It Up. <laughs> These internet shows are such trash. Like hack the movies and who are these podcasts? That Tony is a clown, and I think Carl has downs. But thankfully, there's a podcast that's made just for me. 
filled with transphobia, racism, and misogyny. Singing, I wanna vote it up. So go to Biggest Problem Dot Show, baby. I wanna vote it up. If I don't, they're gonna kill my family. <laughs> Guys, vote it up is the segment where we revisit past problems. Put them in a new light. Uh, Dick, do you remember back all the way, this is crazy, from episode three. Wow, With yeah. the problem of women banging psychopaths. Yes, I do remember that one. Oh, I think you brought that one in. Well, Dick, the UK's largest prison has been hit with a staffing crisis after 18 female members of the staff have hooked up with inmates. Uh. The record figures uncovered in Freedom of Information requests come after three of the women ended up in court over the illicit filings. Those relationships took place over the last six years at a privately run jail in Wrexham, North Wales. Among them was Jennifer Gavin, who took 150 euros to smuggle a phone into Robert Alex Coxon's cell. Is that like a and filmed for pussy? And <laughs> I guess Robert so. Coxum. Oh, I got a phone in my Robert Coxum. And filmed yeah. herself fucking him across many months, selling the videos online. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin later pleaded guilty to misconduct and was sentenced to eight months behind bars. Wow. So he talked a prison guard into fucking him and then talked her into also selling? Well, you got to make a little bit of money, right? You know, you got to pay the commissary fees. I guess. What are they going to do? So women fucking prisoners, it's been going on, and that is currently problem number 37. Wow, that's high on the board. That's it, man. That, I love, uh, you guys like prison documentaries? Yeah. I love that shit, but I want to see like a pickup artist prison documentary, right? Because all they have, I mean, that's what I, like, you're in prison all day, one female guard. Yeah, all you're doing is like trying to hook, you're like, hey, baby, we should fuck. She's like, ha ha, you're so funny. And I'm like, after like six months of that, you wear her down. She's like, all right, I'll just suck his dick once. Yeah. And then they start breaking him out of jail and shit. That's the best ones. Well, then you realize like, oh no, now I'm in the worst relationship ever. <laughs> totally. This is fucked. I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. If she wants to bitch about her day, I can't tell her to leave because she, she's in charge of the cell. I'll just rat her out. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's how you get out of the relationship. Now I'm, Yo, she now raped I'm in a totally me. normal relationship, I realized. <laughs> Well, another problem, Dick, from episode 69, is the problem of... Nice. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. It's the problem of starving artists. These are these scumbag artist morons who can't understand when they've lucked into something good and shut their mouths and take the money. An example of those people might be country sensation Oliver Anthony, also known as the rich man north of Richmond singer, who made the decision to cancel his performance in Knoxville, Tennessee, because the bar hiked prices up to $90 a ticket. Yeah. He says, well, I don't want to charge more than $40 a ticket, ideally more than, not more than $25 a piece. However, the venue says that he charged them $120,000 to perform at the bar and that they had to make the money back in ticket prices. Yeah. So apparently this guy cannot do math. <laughs> Which makes sense, because his stupid song was all about how he doesn't know how I taxes $40 work. $40 is way too low for a ticket, don't you guys? Yeah, you guys. <laughs> $40 a ticket is bullshit. Hey, you think it should be way more? It yeah. should be way more money. You, Dick? <laughs> There's no liquor fee, right? Everybody's drinking, having oh, yeah, a good did time. Anybody did anybody mule it in? Did anybody like it was all on the bunny back there? Oh, he tried. Mules. He tried. I don't know what if we're mean? supposed to talk about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm glad everybody's here having a good time. And uh, thank you for listening to my voted up segment. Hit that second one. I wanna vote it up. So go to biggest problem, that's your baby. I wanna vote it up. If I don't, they're gonna kill my family. Wow, that's great. You know, Dick, what's so great about making it to episode 108 is that it really feels like an accomplishment. And part of the reason it feels like an accomplishment is that I've seen prior podcasts that didn't make it that far. That is lost. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, some people stu- seem to stumble and fall right around yeah. episode 107 of sorts. These, well, uh, these 107 episodes have really flown by. They've uh, really gone quickly. You really have no idea how badly this sh- and painfully this show can go. <laughs> well, I don't want to bring up bad memories, but yeah. I'm going to bring up bad memories. <laughs> Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe, the show where we discuss every problem in the universe from best I'm going like shows Manchurian to no candidates. more shows. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> kill the queen. That is a clip from episode 107, the final episode of a podcast that for some yeah. reason has the same name as this show. I don't know how that happened. Uh, that was a show where a certain individual named Maddox introduced us to the end of shows, as he calls it. Let's listen. With over 6.7 million downloads, this is the only show where you decide what should or shouldn't be on the big list of problems. I'm Maddox with me, Asterios, and Sean, our audio engineer. Hello. Yep. Guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, that intro problem was not a joke, unfortunately. This is the final episode <laughs> of The Biggest Problem. <laughs> wow. Now, Dick, you've told me that you have never that's listened. That's how he did it. Hey, you, it's the end of shows. Well, you know, that's not a joke. I, uh... <laughs> Guys, to preface this. What's the point of the rest of that show? Dick has never that? listened. It's an hour and a half. Dick has never heard the final episode uh, of The Biggest Problem in the Universe. Yeah, okay. So you were not invited to, to be on the last episode for some reason. I couldn't make it. You couldn't make it. You know what? I, I, what if I actually was invited and I just said no and I've been lying this whole time? No, that's not true. Did you guys all listen? Who heard that episode live when it came out? Did you think it was a joke? I hoped it was. Oh, you hoped it was? It's unlistenable, by the way. Well, it's yeah, like I'm not terrible. On it. It's a t- <laughs> I listened to it before the show and it's just Maddox going, well, you know, we did a really good job. And the goes, you did do a good job. <laughs> The whole fucking episode. (laughs) Making a podcast is really hard. Yeah, people don't know how hard it is, Maddox. You're the hardest working guy. I'm like, Jesus Christ. (laughs) Suck that Armenian dick harder. (laughs) Uh, Not to throw shade at Asterios, who's a great comedian, of course. Yes, you're definitely (laughs) throwing shade at Asterios. Well, I mean, like, bro, okay. Here's, if the show ends... You, you just end the show. You don't do a last episode it's where you mash. awkwardly... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you know the last episode is going to be awkwardly tiptoeing around the fact that the main co-host just isn't there anymore, <clears throat> when Maddox called up Asterios and says, hey, I want to do an insane episode where we... It, it's some alternate reality where Dick never existed. No, I don't You go, do yeah, no, that sounds stupid. I don't <laughs> want to do that at all. It's like Eric July. Uh, so the you, the money that you spent on the comics, that's the same as what you brought in, right? The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, here I have a... Do I have my shaft? So. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the man with the comic book? see, Nick. <laughs> we see, All Nick. Right. All right. <laughs> well, here's a... Here, I don't know... Ex- <laughs> Eric! We're not allowed... To- According to some commenters, we're not allowed to do that voice. I don't know if we are or not. No, no, uh, I, I didn't bring this comment in. Somebody said, I thought that voice you guys were doing was, like, over the line. You know, racist. Um, never. But then I went to go listen to his channel, and he talk, He sounds exactly like that. I'm like, yeah. Well, Nick, when I was pontificating about uh, vis-a-vis. What it is. What it is, what it is. What it is, what it was. All right, are we going to do another Eric July show? Jesus Christ. All right. Back on episode 107. Here's a- I need those gems. <laughs> well, here's how you got your first gem, Dick. This is a trip down memory lane. Let's see what the problems uh, were on that episode. So this, uh, this show is ending. Uh, two weeks ago, when we took a break, that was not the intention. Not uh, the intention. We fully intended to come back. But uh, the show has run its course. And, uh, you know, we've uh, we've... I think we've solved it. We found the big list of problems. We got every single problem in the universe. Yeah. We have every problem ranked. So that was the answer was, well, we have all the problems. Hilarious. The show has (laughs) run its course. Did he make that up on the fly? I have. That is a terrible explanation. Just say I've had a horrific falling out or, you know, come up with some way. Why was Asterios, like, interrupting that that heartfelt sign-off? 
the entire time. <laughs> Dude, it, it's serious. If you want to listen to that episode, it's a, again the I whole. I do now. The whole episode. <laughs> I was like, we could do a whole bonus episode on that episode because it's yeah. literally just Maddox being like, and I've got a new podcast coming. And Asterios goes, wow, I'm sure it'll be as good as your last podcast. <laughs> and I'm like, no, not at all. Uh, uh, let's see. What was this? Actually, guys, we should just um, just I want to say thanks to all the guests who've been on the show. Oh, he wants to uh, thank over people. Over the years. This has been a fantastic run. Uh, 100, 104 consecutive episodes, not a single break. I have not taken a single vacation the entire uh, time. <laughs> Every single episode, uh, 103, Are you I believe, 103 out of 104 episodes I edited. He also says he edited every episode, which was, <laughs> which he did. He didn't need to do that, but he did. I have not taken a single. I didn't take a single vacation. Because you're fucking lame. That's why. Oh, that motherfucker! <laughs> the best part was he wanted. I. He goes. I edited every episode. Uh, Sean helped too. <laughs> Yeah, Sean edited it and it was done, but then Maddox weirdly took it and did his own edit. Yeah. Isn't that a weird thing, it's Vito, we- that someone would do to a document, or I mean an episode that's... Yeah, it's not exactly the way to do it. Uh, now, as I'm listening to the episode, as I'm sure everybody was, you know, as he's thanking everyone who's been on the show, you know, I keep waiting for him to obviously thank the man who was half of the equation, to yeah. thank the great Dick Masterson for making the show happen. Uh, let's see who he thanks exactly. Special thanks to Lindsay K. Ty, uh, Asterios, you're one of the writers. Yeah. Uh, who else? Nathan Buckley. Nathan Buckley, I believe. And uh, there was one other person. Yeah, on. Justine Barron. Oh, Justine Barron. That's right. Yeah, Justine yeah. Barron. Yeah. So uh, thank who you else? to everyone who, who helped. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's a ton of names I'm, I'm forgetting. Who else are you forgetting? From <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, one of my good friends, Justin Donaldson. Thank you. One of my uh, favorite people in the world, Justin. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. And you're- you know what? Fuck it, it's the last episode. I'll even say thanks to... Now, who is he about to thank? (laughs) Who could he possibly be about to thank? Fuck it, it's the last show. And you know what? Fuck it, it's the last episode. I'll even say thanks to Tim Chang's... (laughs) Wow. Wow. Well, at least Tim Chang got thanks. Isn't that, isn't well, that I good? mean, that's uh, I do support that. You do support that. <laughs> I right. would like him to be last. Point is, guys, uh, we've made it to 108. It is a big accomplishment. Yeah. And I'm so glad to have my hetero life partner at my side. <laughs> <laughs> the great we survived pedo we su- accusations. We survived so much. False flagging. False flag. It's all been stuff I did, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to create less controversies and then hack and then Tony from Hack the Movies forcing us to get into a fight with a black comic artist. It's all his fault. Oh yeah. And thank yeah. you, Tony from Hack the Movies. Yeah. Pull the mic forward. All right, like that. Are we? Oh. Chats complaining. <laughs> Guys, if, if go fuck yourselves, everybody. Are they super chatting? Complain with a super chat if you're gonna complain at all. No, no, it's good when they tell us the audio's bad so we can fix it. Uh. Well, anyway, guys, that was that was the last uh, show. We got a new show. We love. Is it all show. the clips you have from? Yeah, I only brought in a couple. That's yeah. very lazy. You we got a whole hour, bunch of other stuff to do. An hour and a half of how many? Material. Well, okay. Ho, here's what you don't know. Do you know that sh- that final episode is a clip show? Oh, it is. Yeah. So it's just him and Asterios going. Wow, what a great podcast! It is a great podcast. Wow, I worked really hard. You do work hard. Why you got you- a new podcast? I do. Now let's listen to some clips, and then it's like an hour of clips. It sucks. He didn't even do a whole episode. Why would he force himself to listen to me <laughs> to clip it to make yeah, a clip you're in show the that clips. nobody wants to So it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. He refuses to mention you, and then he immediately starts playing clips where like you're obviously half the conversation. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, he's insane. Well, don't... <laughs> and now I know what to do. Wait, what happened? Yeah, that's that's actually one of my problems is waiting to release the name of the venue until the day before. Uh, that was Vito's idea, I think, mostly. Well, I don't want a guy with giant clippers to roll up and tape money to the door. <laughs> but then when pull we, up, pull when we up, announced true. it, Mint was like, oh, our hotel's like 20 minutes away from that. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's our bad. Yeah. I walked here from my apartment. 
Wait, wait, wait. It's not that far from where everybody's at. After party at this guy's house. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Uh, okay, are we gonna do problems now? Is it? The... I think we do problems now, right? Wait, yeah, who won on the last episode? I mean, it's oh. only been a day. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Do <laughs> <laughs> so you think we could get away with doing that here? What I, is I it? <laughs> uh, I'm looking. Here it is. Here it is. The winner of last week. Well, last yesterday, you mean? Yesterday. Whatever. <laughs> Shut up. The winner of yesterday's show was, uh, I know it was Vito, but I lost the thing. Wait, I won? Yeah. What was my problem? The Texas one? I thought the Texas one was losing. No, it was the other one. The other one that you brought. Oh, not having enough bread at the table. <laughs> Wait, what, what one? That's a Vito problem. Somebody help me. Somebody out. go to the, just go to the website. <laughs> oh All my right, God. Sorry. I thought you won. But the Dunning-Kruger effect won. You're the winner. <laughs> How about that? Okay. Um, Even my... though waiters who bring the table an uneven amount of bread is clearly the superior problem. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, my problem. My problem is the. Uh... Wow, that was a very expensive toss for you. Why did I hit somebody in the face? Uh, my problem is the government shut down cock teas. Mmm. Because, you know, I'm a normal guy. We're all. We can all agree. The only thing that we really want is just for the federal government to be annihilated and <laughs> never be gone. It's a reasonable, I'm, I just don't want them to have to go to work anymore. That's it. Yeah, it's real altruistic. We can still pay you. Just go home. Don't show up. <laughs> don't do anything. Stop voting. Never vote again, please. Uh, but every time this happens, where they, they, I think they just passed a thing, so they... They have like another. They have like another two weeks or so, or another two months to to figure out how to take more of our money to keep going. Um, every time, I think maybe you know what? I'm a hopeful guy. I'm an optimist. Maybe this is the time it's actually going to shut down. It's shut down before. Wouldn't it be great if it shut down again? Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, what? forever. Maybe this will be the time. Forever. Was that because it never goes, the government would never just shut down forever right away. They would shut down for a little bit. And then it just keeps going. Yeah, and then it's just And like, then the fires start. Just, stop calling her back. Like, yeah, I'll call you back. <laughs> Is that yeah. black guy who pulled the fire alarm on your side? Was he trying to get it shut down? Uh, yeah, that was awesome what he did. Yeah. yeah. If, if only <laughs> someone could pull that fire alarm every day. <laughs> I would settle for that. You gotta knock the cameras out first. They caught him, like, immediately. Uh... Oh, yeah. If you catch the government, then they stop doing it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, doing it. they're really afraid of that. Shut so I looked, at, um, I looked at what will happen in a government shutdown. Uh, I thought this was interesting. Will I continue to receive my Social Security? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, will Medicare or Medicaid be interrupted? No, not at all, no. Uh, Medicare or Medicaid would continue to function. Okay. Do military personnel continue working? Um, yes. The Department of Defense will continue. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Thank God. Wait, uh, with the government shutdown? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, the president's still working. When? Is I don't that? mean... Whatever. <laughs> what you want? You need the military going during a government. He's the commander in chief. I mean, if he wants to blow something up, he can tell him to do that. Well, I don't really mind that one guy. It's it's pretty much like everything else that yeah. I have a problem with. That it's still going on. The Department of Defense. Um, here's uh, Dick. Why do you hate the government so much? They provide us with so many wonderful services. <laughs> yeah. These fantastic roads we drove on to arrive at the venue. <laughs> The How GMV? much do you think roads cost? <laughs> the lights that light the roads lights. that we drive on? Roads are shit. Sewers, which you're not allowed to oh, use? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you're a criminal? Uh, well, will student loans continue to be dispersed? Uh, yes. Pell Grants and federal direct loans will continue to be Oh, we can keep up. giving the government's money away. Cool. Yeah, does USPS still deliver mail? Of course. Yeah, what do you mean? So That's what actually gotta, does shut down? Uh, what is the impact on small businesses? A federal government shutdown will impact federal loans to small businesses. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we found something that they stopped doing. Uh, will immigration applicants still be processed? Uh, yes. What? They're funded by... No! Be funded and uh. not impacted. 
Do national parks close? Doesn't even matter. Have you seen the videos lately? Like getting into this country looks like a fun like game. Where you're like, oh, this razor wire is like a joke. There's like kids crawling under it, like a fun tunnel. You know? Did you see? It, it looks like a fucking Why Chuck E. Cheese. So many cameras for that kid. Yeah. Throwing a bold through barbed wire. <laughs> and the barbed wire doesn't even matter. It looks fun. I have to expect like like fun characters and like jungle gyms you gotta climb across. What kind of characters? Like a like a, 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 a weird Mexican mouse. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> a slow, a weirder one. Silly Gonzalez. Jose E. Cheese, co uh, cousin of Chuck. Oh, okay. Um, do you think you could cross the border? I would love to see you cross the border. I mean, I'd, I'd got, I got. They should have a yeah a course that you can try. They can do. you make it's it across? Just like the even those buoys. Remember those buoys where they're like there's chains, there's like chainsaws attached to them or something. And I'm like, ah, oh, cool. They have these like th this clearly not chainsaws. <laughs> okay. The, yeah, chainsaw type devices. I think what they call it. There's like these this yeah. moat, and they have these like plastic barriers across it, and they're clearly attached by like this metal thing. Yeah. And they said like, yeah, well that like has like serrations so that like if you know I don't know seaweed or string or something gets in it, it doesn't like clog up the whole thing. Yeah, seaweed. That's I don't know nice what it for. was. Whatever. Yeah. They said it. Well, it's it makes more sense than it was designed to chop Mexicans to death if they try to <laughs> swim under it. <laughs> When they said it's a chainsaw type device, I'm like, I'm sure that serves some practical function other than ripping the limbs off Mexican children for trying to take a swim. <laughs> but not according to MSNBC. Did you, so you liked those things. They're cool. I'm right? okay with uh, some border security. And I think it could You're be- You're okay with, and if it's like serrated and knives and stuff. I know? think I think if you can't get around, you know, like a laser turret, then why, why don't we even watch you? Like the American Gladiators, if that was at the border, that would be enough. Yeah, the yeah. Eliminator. Bah, 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 there should bah, bah, bah. be a guy with a tennis ball cannon. <laughs> and, the, and the tennis balls could contain acid. <laughs> And if you get hit by the ass, whatever, man, you gotta scar these kids so they know they gotta take it seriously. <laughs> if you're coming for the border, you know you're gonna get some scars. Uh, you should not want to scar kids, Vito. That's uh, do national parks close? National parks remain open. Oh, okay, well, I guess that makes sense. They're outside. Uh, I rely on food stamps like SNAP and WIG. Well, I keep getting my food stamps. Uh, yes, SNAP nice. would continue during the month. Um, yeah. How do I get some food stamps? <laughs> I'm just like I'm tired of paying for food with money. I'd rather pay with like prize Stamps. tickets. No, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm. T it's like a poor person arcade. Like you get to go to the grocery store. Like, ooh, if I save up, I can get a lobster. You know, like, it's emasculating to have to pay with money. Yeah, like, I don't want to give. I don't want to give you money for this food. I want to give you like a st stamp. That if I the government for... is giving out prize tickets, which I can use at a food arcade, I feel like. <laughs> I want to be part of that experience. I feel like if I go to like a, a Carl's Jr. and get food, I shouldn't have to pay with the same money that I use at a regular restaurant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I should be able to pay with fun money because I'm getting garbage food. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 100% on board with this. And then if you don't use your stamps, you just give them, you know, give them some homeless guys like, oh, here's some stamps. That's great. I don't give a fuck about these stamps. I'm just, not going to eat Carl's Jr. all month. It sounds fun. I'm not giving you a dollar, though. I understand why people want to be poor. It's more fun. You get to live in a colorful neighborhood. You get to pay for your food with prize tickets. I'm sorry. And you get to make as what many did you kids mean as you by want. Colorful no neighborhood. I'm thinking of like you know uh, pinatas. <laughs> pinatas are colorful and bounce houses and shit. The Cosby Kids, man, they were all they had all sorts of different colors they were wearing. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Did you ever see the episode of the Cosby Kids where they uh, one of the kids is retarded? I did see that one, yeah. <laughs> like, like Fat Albert <laughs> goes to his teacher and he's like, What's wrong with that Wilson kid? And the teacher goes, Fat Albert, he's retarded. And she just says it straight out. And you're like, man, the 70s were cool. <laughs> <laughs> retarded? <laughs> what, that, what does that mean, teacher? It means he's dumber than you, Fat Albert. Okay, we're in All trouble right. now. All right. That was a Cosby impression. That was Cosby. He's a. <laughs> no, he's a rapist. You can say whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, thank you. He is a rapist, so yeah. you can make fun of him. 
Do you remember the episode of Fat Albert? Was he acquitted? I don't think he was acquitted. No, he got it overturned on appeal. (laughs) He just, the government said, oh, we violated, like, the rules of prosecuting him, so we have to let this rapist go. And everyone was like, well, that makes sense. (laughs) You know, we have all these rules for a reason, so obviously we have to let him go. (laughs) And... And Bill Cosby went, zip up, zip up, zip up, zip up. Yeah, you guys definitely have to do those rules. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. The whole system would fall apart if you didn't do that. <laughs> I think it's fun that he's out on the street. Who knows what he's going to do next? I mean, we all think, I don't think women think it's funny. But... <laughs> I'm sure Maybe he's they do. minding I don't know. his... I don't want to get in there of sick minds and try to figure them out. Uh, Give him a reality show. See what happens. Who? Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Love is blind. I would, would give him a, a yeah. I would give him a dating show, and he would teach other guys like would if you, you put the zippy the zappy the juice in the latest drink, she gets all zappy cabby and falls asleep. And that's when you drag her into your bedroom and do whatever you want. <laughs> That's the show. There you go. Yeah, this is exactly. what happened to our treatment. <laughs> <laughs> my treatment was correct. Uh, so the government shutting down, Dick. Yeah, that's my problem. That's a good problem. I mean, come on, man. But I'm just go- don't tease me with it anymore. Just shut up. Stop just make it, teasing it, you. Make it whatever you have to do. Make it infinite. Make platinum coins. I don't fucking care. Just stop putting in the news where you tell me the government's going to shut down because it's never going to shut down. I don't want to give. Stop. Fucking playing with my emotions. If you want the government to shut down, you got to do something about it. That's what January 6th was. Well, prepare to go to jail because you can't say that (laughs) shit anymore. (laughs) You're fucking in recap. I'm not saying I want it to happen, but I'm saying those guys, you know, they try it. I don't want it to happen either. A wink. A wink. (laughs) Well, Dick, here's my problem. As we all know, you know, I'm a healthy guy. (laughs) Give me those. Uh, guys, I've been trying to eat. Yeah, thank you. Thank me for the snacks, yeah, please. Thank you everybody. For the snacks. Thank you for the snacks. <laughs> guys, I've been trying. I try- never went on. I can't fucking believe he said I never went on vacation. <laughs> Was that for me? Uh, for Vito. Hey, what did I do? A oh, big thumbs up for me? I've been trying to eat healthy, guys, because uh, we got the big weigh-in coming up. So what I do is I get the beef and broccoli from the Panda Express. <laughs> That's good. It's got it's not that, as much calories. It's got it's mostly. It's not fucking healthy at all. Yes, it's it is. Chinese fast food? No, it's not. Yes, it is. You can look it no, up. No, it is not. Look it up. Is that healthy? No. Oh, I guess everybody's wrong. Everybody who looks skinny it's out here. Protein is fucking wrong. and vegetables. I guess you're right, Vito. We're all fucking stupid. Protein and sugar. Does not. They don't put that much sauce on it. The rice makes you fat. That's why you don't get that much rice. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? <laughs> There's not that much. Look, I'm going to look up the I want a second right take. It's the fucking sugar in the sauce. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> Idiot! Well, I love you, Vito. What are you looking at? Shut the fuck up. Just turn the selfie camera on. I applaud you for the broccoli. <laughs> only 1,200 calories per you guys are going to feel stupid in about a second. No, we will not feel stupid for saying it's not healthy. It's better than chicken. How many calories do you think is in the beef and broccoli? Oh, it's, not, it's not like made of calories. It's made of things. Okay, but ca- ca- calories in, calories out, right? Yeah. Well, you tell me. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> wow, this audience sucks. Fuck you guys. All right. You know what? Show over. Everybody leave. All right. One order of the Panda Express beef and broccoli is 150 calories. <laughs> Bullshit, you can look it up right now. I just looked it up. I'm better at nutrition than everyone in this room. <laughs> Think about that. You guys are actually retarded. Wow. 
What the Dunning Kruger effect? That was one. Fuck you. Last week. Can I get right? to my problem? The problem is. Oh, you found your problem. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Is this is this my show or is it this your show? Okay. We're never gonna get through this one. A hundred and fifty. It's a hundred fifty dollars. That's nothing. I mean, it's not a lie. Go look it up. <laughs> eat a fucking Snickers. You're not yourself if you Do don't you eat a Snickers. Do you only eat one of them? It's a serving. They give you a serving. So if that's you get, your lunch, 150 calories. Well, I think it, they give you the... Sh shut the fuck up. I think they give... Let me talk. Let me talk. I think they give you two get servings. one. I think they give you... Because it's like a... It's a plate. So you get two options. I get both of them, the beef and broccoli. So that's 300. Plus the rice. Plus some white rice, and I don't eat all the white rice. I don't know how much the white rice is, because we're not talking about the white rice. My problem is not rice, you cocksuckers! All right? All right. Here's the deal. And then what's the sauce? The sauce is part of the calorie count. <laughs> really? Yes. Just infinity sauce you can put on it? You can't. They, they just give you the amount of sauce that it normally comes in. Okay. All right. The All right. problem is they don't give you enough meat. They don't give you enough meat. <laughs> Guys, this That's is true. Hold on. That's true. This That's true. <laughs> Guys, I know we thought this became a participation show, but it didn't. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We are not allowed to stay here forever, so let's get through it. Okay. My problem is not enough meat at the fast food restaurant. Oh, they that's always true. Okay. Fuck you over. Thank you. You get the orange chicken. And I don't get it, but I used to get it. It's all breading, right? We know this. You pick it apart, there's no chicken in there. Or you go What do you the, mean used to? I'm saying like back when I was, you know, fat. <laughs> it's also a big problem at the Chipotle, guys. Who's running into this? Pro thank you, thank you. Now you go to the Chipotle and you go, yeah, let me get a, let me get a chicken burrito, right? And they go like two pieces. Do you chicken. do it like a drug deal? <laughs> well, I get a, hey, get a here's what you fucking thing out there. You got to take advantage. If you're a fat guy, you got to lock eyes with the guy at the Chipotle, and you got to go, mother, come on, look at me. And he goes, yeah, you know yeah, what? yeah. I do right. the exact same thing with bartenders. Yeah. Just you, you describing it really hit me in the stomach. <laughs> like, oh, man. You got to look them right in the eyes. You got to go, bro, if you just order at the Chipotle, they, they fuck you. But if you go, brother. Yeah. Look at this guy. Look Let's at go. This. Come on. Do you come think on, I on, got on, here on. with your normal serving size? Tip no. It. Let's go. Hook me up. Now, apartment. Sometimes I drink the first one fast and come back so they feel emasculated. There you go. Like they have to fend me off with more liquor. Now, thankfully, apartment list employee Dylon Gross has done uh, years of study and how to maximize the size of his Chipotle order. And he has some common Dylan. hacks that you can use. Okay. Now, a common hack is if you know you're going to get a double meat burrito, get a single meat burrito. After he puts the first scoop on, go, you know what? Let me get double meat. Then he's locked into the scoop side. Fucking Superkill is so excited about it. Superkill knows what's up. Hack. That way he goes, fuck, I have to match the original scoop. Or if you would ask him for double meat, off the bat, he would have gave you two half scoops. Boom. Roasted. All right. Also, order a burrito bowl with a tortilla on the side. Okay. Apparently, doing this gets 50% more ingredients across the board, and then you can just ramp it up yourself. Or if you go half and <laughs> half on meat. <laughs> The is roasting that guy me. goes great. great. <laughs> trying to help you guys. I'm trying to help you guys maximize your food stamps, you cheap bastards. Wait, do they take food stamps? Man, I really want yeah, some food stamps. Must. I don't want to spend money anymore. Yeah, stamps are way more like fun. McDonald's coin or something. Take them to Chipotle. And yeah. Get yourself a burrito bowl. Point is, guys, I'm tired. Of, I, I got an order of the beef and broccoli, and there was like three minuscule pieces of beef. It was all broccoli. Maybe it's yeah. good for me, but. 
I think I got fucked, and I, I'm tired of it. You're describing a, a, a feeling of uh, non over satiation with your food. Is yeah. That, yeah. Like I wish there was at 150 calories. And then I'd eat a couple Snickers bars to feel normal again. Yeah. But that was when I was fat, so. <laughs> Everything's fine now. What's your favorite Vita food problem? Anybody? Uh, the drive through. This one. The, the drive? drive oh! Having to wait behind Black people. people in the drive through <laughs> <laughs> People of colorful backgrounds. That's <laughs> worse. <laughs> I think that's okay. Colorful backgrounds? I think that's right. Yeah, anybody else? Favorite food problem? Vito? French fries suck. <laughs> I should have clipped that. Maddox brings up French fries in the final episode. Yeah. Asterios busts his balls, but I have to say this the one time I agreed with Maddox. <laughs> French fries are a waste of everyone's time. Why? Why? You guys just gave me shit for eating rice, and now I can't li- dislike French fries? Fuck you guys. Because you're lying. All right. <laughs> Dick, do you have a second Can problem for us? Can you imagine if you, spoke, if you guys spoke to Maddox in that way, what he would be doing? <laughs> he would store it. <laughs> Maddox, he would fucking start crying. <laughs> would be. Feel free to neg Dick, even slightly. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> I hate, I hate you, you guys. You guys saw how that worked for Eric. You got a second problem for me, you motherfucker? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. All right. Um, here's a, I don't know what to call this one. It's um, it's employees who, uh, it sounds kind of, I don't know, it sounds like a douchey thing, way to phrase it, but it's employees who act like your friends, not your own employees. I, uh, uh, at a, at a, I got that, no, not coworkers. No. <laughs> Wait. No. <laughs> What's oh no! That? Oh no! What? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! He's already niggling me. Where I, what am I supposed to do? What is this? this? Where did I put that thing? I feel like I'm being niggled. Ah! Okay. I prepared notes. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, it had the whole show. I thought there was a pebble in my shoe. Of okay. course. Um, it's a niggler, everybody. Yeah, we figured that out. We knew. Yeah. Why would we not you invite the next? Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you left me! You left me all alone in Arkham Asylum after I was deported back to Peru! You fucker! What does that mean? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> just, just let You're it go. Deported if you ask him to- any questions, this is gonna go on forever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him to improv. Just and, mi- and- <laughs> it's Arkham Asylum that you're from also? What did I just say? <laughs> Don't ask the Nickler questions. Ever. How dare you? <laughs> you two go after the man who was supposed to be the, the Jesus of comics, my hero, Eric D. Deny. All right. I'm sorry, Nigler. I'm sorry. How could you? It's tortuous interference is what you've done! <laughs> I can't believe that's your bit. And that's you're... incredible. You rabbit! <laughs> what <are you> next? <laughs> Anyways! By the way, we have to clean up all this stuff that he's... He shot those poppers off. Great! I'm so excited. <laughs> that's a very... It's, it's, a, well, it's, it's a niggle. It's a niggle. I'm niggled. Oh, um. Go on. It says, it says fuck you. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good niggle. Why am I starting to feel like Steve Harvey on the show? <laughs> Ripper vs. Goalposts? 
Yes. Wait. <laughs> you're behind the goalposts? That's you? <laughs> oh, my God. That guy's been niggling that me That count is months. the definition of niggling yeah, me. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I did not approve this bit, by the way. I, <laughs> You're all excited about it. It's a, <laughs> it's a good thing now. It's a good it's thing. Now. Oh, I got one. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Hey that's my that's my speech. Um oh, uh that, this, that means the speech is starting right now. Yes. Where'd it go? <laughs> what was my whatever. <laughs> this one just says keep it up. How is that a niggle? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for dumping glitter on the stage. Get out of Now here. I have to clean up. Woo! All right, I'll leave. I get it! You don't want me here! You don't like no, me! No, Niggler, no! We love the Niggler, right? Hey! Woo! No, no. Stop chanting it! We're in downtown Hollywood! Jesus that Christ! Is, that is way too close. You guys are not allowed to chant that in this part of town. It is. Jesus Christ. I don't think now I, I finally All get All the neighbors are now point. calling in like, hey, I think there actually is a <laughs> Nazi gathering rally. going on. Get out of here. Get out of here, nigga. Get out of here, nigga. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. How was that? He got us again. He got us again. Did you ever think you would meet a niggler? <laughs> In person? It never came to my mind, no. Who He's. The <laughs> it's been. Oh! <laughs> He's been a specter in the in the shadows for so long. Of your mind. Coming face to face with the man himself. An enigma. He's a, yeah, he's an enigma. He's an enigler No, that doesn't work. Uh, okay, do you have a problem? Look at this. That one just you, says the F slur. Yeah, look at the size of it. That, I like he, he was it like really small. cute when he wrote it. Uh, yeah, my, well, my problem is when I got Riley's Employee of the Month thing, Yeah, I got that picture printed out at the CVS, like, pick up your photos now Yeah, thing. Like, this will be this easy, This is a good right? one. You are gay. Okay. <laughs> They're very well... And I show, I show up, and it's one of those uh, employees who's like, uh, of course, the, you know, the picture's not there, and everything's, everything's broken, and it's just uh, women shouting at each other. Um, and the one shouting there... And she's like, well, you know, these people, they come in and they print stuff and they don't realize they have to take their time. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's yelling at the other one. like, Well, you got to get going, right? You got to get they, you got to get going. And, turns, and then every single time she turns to me and says, um, they just don't know. They just don't know. They just don't Wait, know. I'm like, who's she talking the about? Other, the other employee. OK. She... Like, yeah, I mean, um, don't you are the problem. We're not on the same team. You're on the opposite team of me. Like, you're saying you employees are, dragging customers into their They're drama. like, yes. Like, they're... Like, that's, you know what it's like working at a pizza hut. And you're like, no, what? <laughs> like, you know, look at these look at these idiots. They're fucking up your pizza. I'm like, no, you're <laughs> fucking up my pizza. You're the one that fucked up the pizza. Um, and then finally I get... I wanted to get the perfect picture for Riley. So I got three pictures so I could see what it looked like on that employee of the month thing. And the printer jammed, so she had to print them again. So she gives me three pictures and then two duplicates. And she says, I'm only going to charge you for three. <laughs> wow. And I said, what, like, what, is, what, do you, what do you call this that I'm experiencing now? I think I that's really... called a parasocial customer relationship. Yeah, maybe that's what it yeah. is. I really fucking hate it. It's like me and the guy at Chipotle. 
<laughs> I'm like, buddy, how we doing? Yeah, I oh, feel like I'm. That's being... going the other way, though. They're not bringing that to me. I'm bringing that to them. The I think they're just lonely. These people. Yeah, I don't want that like taken out on me. Yeah, that's I know. Get away from me. You ever meet like the cool guy working in a shitty job, and he feels like the need to like make you think that he's better than the job he's working at? Yes. Yeah. Like when? Like you go to like the Starbucks. He's like, "Hey, how can I help you out, buddy?" And you're like, "I don't know. I'll just get like a caramel thing." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, cool. Hey, yeah. Oh, you you with that band on your shirt, huh? Yeah, I'm in a band too." And you're like, oh, fucking Christ. Oh, my. <laughs> He's like, you know, this isn't my only thing. I got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Like, Damn, I bet, buddy. My mailman gave me a flyer to his band that was performing. <laughs> Your mailman? And I, I was just filled with panic. I'm like, oh, God. You, like, just ultimate poker face. Do not react in any kind of way to this. Like, yeah, because otherwise he'll throw out your mail. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He, he knows what the good stuff is that I need and all the garbage. And he'll just dump garbage. You took the flyer and you said, this sounds terrible. He'd be like, all right, well, you're missing half your Amazon so, packages from now on. Well, I'll try to get here to this thing. I'll try to get to your cool I'll try thing. To get to it. it looks cool. Well, that's uh, so you had an encounter with a CVS employee who tried to work their it way took into like your life. Like forty minutes to get that stupid picture for Riley's thing, um, but it was worth it. I think they just wanted to be your friend. Well, yeah, that's a very horrible. Well, sometimes you want a friend. Sometimes you want a friend at like these, you know, locations. CVS. Well, well maybe not. My, C- maybe not CVS. Call my gal. She works down at the CVS. I'll get you in for a. I was at the Goodwill. Uh, you know, like the the thrift store. Yeah, yeah. And this guy goes, "Hey, uh, you're that guy from the from the internet, right?" What really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, "Oh, Goodwill worker." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He's like, "All right, wait here. Hold on." And I'm like, "What? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'm out of here." And, yeah, well, I should have left. And he went in the back, and I was like waiting for like. 20 minutes or, and I'm like why am I waiting for this guy <laughs> yes this is, your, this is exactly what I'm talking about yeah and they came back with a can of Pepsi and he went R- remember that thing you did <laughs> and I'm like I waited 20 minutes for you to go find a Pepsi in the to back to do a bit <laughs> to do a bit he's like yeah yeah it's funny like that video and I'm like alright cool thanks man and then, and then I never saw that guy again. I think but you But then got you have fired. to react like appropriately because you were, if you don't, you might get killed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah, you might come to my house and I know that I live in that neighborhood. What did like, you say? Thanks for the Pepsi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was really proud of himself. I think he was mentally not all the way there. Uh, <laughs> you think? He was like, can I wait here 20 minutes? I'm like, yeah, sure, man. Oh my God. From the video on the internet. No, was he? he and I said, that. I love you. And I said, okay, well. No, he was like, I don't know. He was, I'm sure. He's probably listening to the show right now going, I am not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I have an important job in the community. The niggler brought a whoopee cushion. <laughs> I've been truly niggled. They inflate themselves now. Did you know that? Did you know that? I, I'm aware of that, yeah. But it's not as good. It doesn't How, sound Why as are good. you aware of that? How are you know? I mean, I've seen that. I mean, it's not as good. It doesn't sound as good. <laughs> It barely makes a noise. You have to sit on it. Oh, you have to sit on it. Right. I don't want to deal with that. I'm not going to sit on it. No, you, you hooked it in. You hooked it in. I let me what? Let me do it. Okay, you want to put it under my ass? Yes. Yeah, you got to stand up. You got to stand up and say, oh, I'm so happy to be home from work. <laughs> I just ate so much beef and broccoli. <laughs> All right, that is pretty good. That is surprisingly good. All right. All right. Oh, why? Fine. Like Tiger Woods. It's time for my problem. Do it again. Do it again. No, we're not doing it again. <laughs> Shut up. What a stupid bit. Are you done with your problem? Yeah, problem? yeah, yeah. All Sorry right. my lowbrow stuff is fucking taking up your time. <laughs> your problem of, I went to CVS and had, ooh, there's a lady. And, ooh. Good problem. Here's there's my, a lady is most of my problem. Yeah, well, fair enough. <laughs> Here's my problem, guys. I look out at this audience, great eye. I see a uh, criminalized sobriety hoodie 
I think I saw some Dick Show shirts kicking around. There we go. There's a Dick Show shirt. You know what I don't see? Oh, you cocks. Any yeah. biggest problem merchandise. My problem is lack of biggest problem merchandise. Now, he probably did. So before this show, I said, Dick, we should really make some shirts for the fans. Yeah, yeah. I went out and I got an artist. He made a cool wrestling thing. Everybody negged me about it. <laughs> Sorry, what did you just say? To okay. <laughs> some people like it. Look, it wasn't everybody's cup of tea. And I said, well, that's fine. I'll just print up some basic black T-shirts with the logo. Yeah. So I find a print shop. They give me a great quote. I go, Dick. That's so much work Shut the already fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Why? I said, why don't I make like a hundred shirts? Here's how much it'll cost. And what? <laughs> what well, that's There's only 50 people here, he said. And he said, a hundred? Like, what an idiot. A hundred? <laughs> okay, so when you make an item, you make it in bulk because this will not be the only live show we ever do in the future we'll have my well, fucking rolling the stones show over here all right fair enough you I, I don't sabotage every podcast i'm on by fucking the fucking girlfriend of my co-host so so i feel like i'm able to sustain it maybe you feel maybe you feel like it's going to fall apart at any moment because i don't know what you're doing secretly but i believe the show has Longevity. Am I in a self-defense situation right now? No, no. Is anyone from Texas who can advise me on what's <laughs> Tex? So I was gonna print a hundred shirts because we could sell some online. We could sell some here. We could sell them everywhere. Dick goes, hundred's too many. I go, well, okay, I'll just print fifty shirts. How about fifty shirts? Dick goes, fifty is too many. No, I said, well, who's gonna sell them? Not my girlfriend. And you I said, said I, I will sell the. You go ahead. You said. I'm going to sell them before the show. And I said, well, we kind of have a lot to set up before the show. Like, you know. Point is, I then tried to call Dick multiple times. Voicemail, no. And you would not pick up shit. your phone. We only, because the guy, I had to put in a rush order. We only had one week to get him in. And you didn't pick up your phone. And I said, well, I guess I'm not making t-shirts. But then I said to myself, you know what? Fuck Dick, because he's a dumb motherfucker who doesn't know what the fans deserve. Oh, no way! Who wears a large? Large, large! Alright, fuck you, there you go. That was the farthest you could throw, this guy? Who's got an extra large? Extra large, come on! Fight over, you fucking animals! So, Dick, I have uh, in this box some custom Biggest Problem in the Universe t-shirts. Let me see them. Uh, these are great, look at these. Wait, you didn't get them printed? You drew these? Yeah! Why didn't you just print them? Because I didn't have time to print them! <laughs> And I even, I even signed every one. There's not 40 of them, and I don't know how much we're charging for them, but you gotta give me money. I mean, come on. <laughs> Ten bucks. You hear that? You hear that guy? Fuck you. <laughs> this is beautiful custom merchandise. We'll figure it out. Give a donation to the show, you can have a t-shirt. But point is, guys, we do need to make some legitimate biggest problems. Oh, merch. Jesus Christ. It needs to happen. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. I know you have already cashed in with your years of podcasting glory. Ooh, $20,000 a month for my <laughs> stupid fucking weekly show. Me and my buddy Sean shit on each other, and I talk to Ethan Ralph. Okay? Yeah. Now we got a good show. Is this a merch booth now? All right, these are pretty good, though. I'll pay you back for making that poster cost so much and fill it. <laughs> that was Carl that did that. For the thousand dollar posters. We were both late. No gay hops on me, folks. No gay hops. Oh my God, this is a car thing. Okay. Uh, okay, this is way better than the T-shirt. That's awesome. It goes in your window. Oh, you're not getting a free t-shirt now, you dumb motherfuckers. 
Say, I love Vito, and you get a large. Who's a large? I flew- there we go. Hey. No, because you called me a piece of shit. You don't get anything. Well, now no one's getting a t-shirt. No one gets a flag. No, no. This audience doesn't deserve any merchandise. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so wait. What is, what is, this is a, a car window flag that you got here? These are pretty sick. All right, well, these are 50 bucks. Yeah, those are 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps uh, there's some kind of deal really that you got. Uh, they're very, they look way them. better than Vito's oh, shirts. That's a lot of money. 17.50 is a good price. And guys, we'll cover the other half to charity if you buy one. <laughs> We'll technically cover the other half. It's so hard not to talk about Eric July. I, actually, I was in, uh, I was on Def Noodles' I was on Def Noodles' uh, podcast right after the first Eric yeah. July stuff happened. And he's like, what is all this? What's going on? with? The, well, yeah, everybody's curious about yeah. it because it's uh, insanity. Okay, uh, is that your problem? Not enough merch? Not enough merch. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. We're going to have more official merch soon. Oh, my God. Guys... One fun thing about the show is that we love audience participation, which is why we have this box containing your problems. How many do we get? Are these? Are all you there? fucking serious, Niggler? Is this all yours? Oh. Yeah, that's all his <laughs> glitter that he dumped all over the stage. <laughs> you didn't see that? Like we're gonna be here with a vacuum for the next. <laughs> Oh, did it get in my hair? No, it oh, it didn't. didn't. Well, then, lucky Congratulations. Me. Yes! You fucking asshole. Lucky for you. All right. Uh, Mexicans is the first one. Thank you for that. Okay, guys, I feel like every time I we do this segment... Uh, no way! You drew that first? Half these cards always say Jews. <laughs> so... Just, just to let you guys know, we're gonna skip those. Okay. Bathroom bums. Jews. Who, who did Jews. That one? Too many Jews. Jews. Bathroom bums. What do you come, bathroom come up here? Bums. Come up here. What do you mean? Come by up. That? What is a bathroom bum? Whose card is that? Oh, there we go. This man. Look, he's got his merchandise. Hey. Shout out to Vito. Thank you, Vito. You're welcome, Shout out, buddy. Dick. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Yes. Yes. Bathroom bums. Those motherfuckers who stand in the bathroom. And beg you to give them money after they give you a paper towel. You and one of them in the say, first after place. They give you a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> At least then they'd serve a purpose. The guys who uh, offer you the mint, offer you the condom, or whatever. Wait, they don't offer you a condom. No, they do not offer you a condom. I've never been in a fancy bathroom. Do they still have those guys, the bathroom attendants? It's so annoying because you'll like you'll like go to get the paper towel, and they're like, "Oh no, 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 sir! Here, here, here!" Why is he uh, that was my dad. Will you guys fucking relax about that? Okay, Jews, Jews, Israel. Here we go. Uh, no good racial slurs for white people. So that's crackers. Not good. It doesn't hurt. No, you have to ask like. No, 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 no. This is gonna sound. I mean, it's gonna sound bad, but you have to ask like the Japanese what they call white people. That's what the. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Yeah, that's that sounds bad. Wow, whoa, what's going on here? What show are you at? Um, hey, hey! People pretending that McDonald's isn't good. Thank yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Fuck you. That's a classic fillet of fish problem right there, my friends. Here's one from Derek. When your dog won't let you try the Q-tip trick on her, it's not a trick. <laughs> It is a legitimate medical procedure. You know what I love about this? That Derek signed it like it's a work email. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Sig, Derek, uh, you know, l l live long and pro- Derek, he, him. Yeah, we We're going to get through this. All right, what do you got, Dick? Shitty chopsticks, especially Shit. the ones that don't break properly. Mm. Is that a big problem for you? Is that, well, when is I get my that? beef and broccoli, I'm always struggling to break <laughs> apart my... How about uh, like another food problem? Getting charged for ranch at a pizza... Why are you putting ranch on your pizza? Oh, whoever would put ranch on that? 
he does. This is a lie. Don't get fooled by what he's gaslighting. Okay, you. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 I don't. Because every time we get wings, Dick wants ranch. And I want the much superior blue cheese. Where my blue boys at? Where my blue boys at? Yeah, exactly. I am a middle-aged white woman. Because he wants just cheese. What do you think ranch is? It's a bunch of soybean oil and garbage. And the nutritionist. Yeah, okay. I am. Um, tipping $100 to a bathroom attendant by accident. Oh. Wait, what happened? Tipping a hundred dollars to a bathroom attended by act. Come here. How did you, Koof? Get it? What the fuck, Koof? How did you get one hundred dollars? <laughs> well, no, to come over here. Don't fuck. <laughs> so what happened? You can and hold it, but don't stand there. <laughs> so in my drunken super at the bar. You were uh, fucked up last night. Yeah, I uh, I went to take a piss at the bathroom and I grabbed a piece of gum, and the bathroom's attendant's like. Hey, and then like oh wait, shit, wait, wait. yeah. So then I wait, wait, wait. Why did you? You just wanted some gum? Like, I don't know. Some I, bathroom gum. I just grabbed it on impulse, and then uh. Some bathroom uh, gum. Wow, it's like it's like Pokemon. Fresh in your like breath. I gotta grab this. Yeah, I gotta I gotta catch them all. But uh, so I grab it. He's like, hey, tip. And the only cash I had was hundreds because it's my decoy hundreds in case I get mugged in the city of failure. So uh, how is it a decoy hundred though? It sounds like I, well I well uh. So I just. Uh, so you got a bunch of hundreds on you right now? Uh, not right now, because I learned my lesson. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. did you think it was a one? Uh, I tipped the bartender my ones, and the only <laughs> cash I had was a That's hundreds. like the worst Tinder like thing ever. I tipped the bartender my ones. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I just gave it to him. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I walked out and somehow ended up back to my hotel room. <laughs> so yeah, big fuck up on my part. You gave him a hundred bucks? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. He didn't stop you or something? <laughs> no. Nope. Let's go find him. Let's go to the... <laughs> That's fucked. Was if that at the that bar? Is... Yeah. That bar has a bathroom attendant? Yes. You didn't go to the bathroom Dude, the go back. Time. Let's go back to the bar and be like... No, I didn't Let's rough him up. No, just be like, hey, last night I gave I, your bathroom attendant a hundred bucks. I consider that the cost of, of attendance. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you learn a lesson about... Uh, yeah, don't tip bathroom attendants. Yeah, at all. Period. Don't give them anything. Yeah, so. Yeah. okay. When he goes, uh, can you do something for me? You go, yeah, I can take more of your gum. And then just grab it and leave. Yeah. Well, Thanks, Koof. Don't kill yourself. Thank you, for not killing yourself. Thanks for the stickers. Did you give everybody a sticker? We got stickers, yes. Here's a I prop. recognize you guys from the bar last night too. Uh, you, yeah, you got kicked out. They were gonna. Did you throw up? You don't remember? Did he throw up? Come yeah, come up here. What's your name? It's my name is also Will. Cool. Uh, you, you, you were standing right next to me. What is that? You dropped. Your I, I just need to. Like distinguish myself. Are you still drunk? <laughs> but it's also never, Will. Don't ever fucking ask that question like what? that. What? Uh, I remember you dropped. No, you dropped. dropped your phone, and when you know you looked at it like it was in another universe. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> Didn't you also break a glass? I I broke a glass right. In you broke a glass, and then you are. You, and then you argued with the guy whose job it is to clean up the glass. I was confused on how quickly they responded to the, the glass guy was like, hey, being dropped. The guy was like, hey, just don't touch that. You went, but it's a glass. <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah, I know. We'll take care of it. And you're like, well, someone's got to take care of it. Right now. <laughs> I can do it cheaper. And you were like arguing with the guy holding the dustpan. Like, someone's got to do something about this. He's like, they were yes, sir, I back. know. I am here to <laughs> do something. I got to get this glass. I got to get in this glass. <laughs> I was just a little confused on how quickly they responded to what was going on. I know. And I, you know, in my drunken stupor, I made a fool of myself. Yeah, you really... No, 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 no. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself. You dropped your phone, and then you're staring at it, and then I was, you were right exactly like this, and I was looking at you, I was like, okay, I know exactly what's going on here. And I said, whatever you do, don't 
try to grab it, and then you went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you try to grab it, and you're like, <laughs> you're doing like the, the worst kettlebell workout ever, ever done. And the security guard's like, zip, he sees that. He says, zoom, comes over, and he's like, oh, that's it, buddy, you gotta go. And you're like, oh, with your phone. With your phone. You broke two glasses? And I said, hey, 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 I, hey Yeah, hey. I don't remember the second one. I don't, I wasn't there for the second one. <laughs> I said, hey, 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 don't, 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 don't. And he goes, is he with you? And I said, not necessarily. <laughs> no, the one thing I do remember is you telling me I have to leave. Yeah. Uh, I no, I said I'm not tell I said I'm not telling you have to leave, but they're gonna kick you out. Uh, who are you here with? And you I think Sven? Is Seth. that Seth. Seth. Seth sorry, yes, yeah, Seth. And you said you said, I'm here with Seth. He's in a red shirt, he's got glasses. I'm like, okay, that's he's gonna be fucking impossible. And I look <laughs> over I look over the entire bar and Seth is sitting in like the empty VIP area, just going like this. <laughs> I said, are you fucking kidding me? Both of you? <laughs> okay, go get that. Yeah, and I, go said have to the, fun. I said, the guy was kicking you out. I said, hey, go get that fucking guy. He goes, no. I, mean, I said, hey, go, just go get him. And he's like, well, I guess I'll go get him then. <laughs> so he drags you over, and I don't know, you took him out. <laughs> yeah, you were fucked. That was great, though. That was yeah, hilarious. hey, I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad I made a good impression. Bringing shit. <laughs> Love Will. It's not a biggest problem meetup unless somebody starts breaking glasses aggressively. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, someone's got to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I'm here with the dustpan and the broom. We got to deal with this. Yeah, I, I, I know. How about women who get famous showing tits and then stop showing tits? No! Fuck you! No. Did my girlfriend write that? Yeah. <laughs> why? Because she does that. No. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. What I thought that's the joke you were making. That's a complaint. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jews, Jews, Jews. <laughs> okay. Eric's July, Eric's July, do some real fucked up. All right, all right. All right. Real soon. <laughs> we got. More. I just didn't, I didn't completely understand. <laughs> How about Jews? No. God damn it. Wait, what's happening? Somebody stuck this on the wall, and I looked thinking it was an important note, and it says, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> they really got you. The niggler got you. How about... Panko bread. There's crumbs. more sticky notes? Where? There's more? Where? Hold on, hold on. Over here? The sticky notes are over here? <laughs> are we doing blues clues now? Is that what's happening? Where are they? Where are the sticky notes? Can you help are they Dick? over here? Can you help Dick find <laughs> El Sticky Notes? But I, backpack! Right. Backpack! There! Is it to the left? Where is it? Is this the sticky note? <laughs> hey, you're gay. Says you're gay. Yeah. El, El homosexual. That means homosexual in Spanish. Uh, excessive shoulder acne because your testosterone levels are too high. Derek, I don't need to know this. Uh, when, I can't even read this one. People trying to make Britney Spears stop. Yeah, fuck you, people. Yeah. Women Just dance around with like play knives. Like what the what is fuck's wrong with you? Those obviously aren't real knives. <laughs> uh, what does this say? Uh, women, women expecting too much, as written by a child. Um, maybe they expect you to learn the English language. Jesus Christ! Having to exfoliate. Who has to ex? <laughs> Wait, who just said it's a thing? Whose card is that? Super killer. Super said killer that. has to exfoliate. <laughs> that fucks up my whole universe. You get Here ashy. Super Carol gets ashy. Yeah, All right, that's canon right now. That's canon. Um, 
No. Uh, I already got the money. I'm not going to make a comic. <laughs> Fucking idiots. That's how crowdfunding works. You rip them off and you run uh, for the Big hills. leaking about insider info for the live show at the meetup. Who did that? Oh, that, was me. that was you. Who was big leaking what? The Niggler. Oh, the Niggler oh, that niggled you? How Sorry, this sad. is a... <laughs> How sad that is. I have a secret identity! Oh! That's the whole story. That bit will never get tired. I tell you what. We not do Eric. Eric don't you Can go on that lawyer show? <laughs> the Eric July's wife. Bit. I don't sound like he apologized to you. <laughs> <laughs> the Nigglers still backstage. I assume spreading glitter everywhere for us to clean up. Not enough you time. Know to it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Niggler. Are we reading all of Too these? Too many hot chicks at national yeah, parks. Yeah, who yeah, who wrote that? Yeah, I bet. Oh, it says, I'm gay. Yeah. Too many hot chicks at national parks. Who wrote that? Too many hot chicks at national parks. No one will admit to this now? Yeah, how's that a problem? Uh, there was too many hot chicks at that video games bar last night, though. There was some oh good-looking guys. One or two at a bar, that's fine, because you can, like, obsessively track them all night. <laughs> But when there's 10 or 20, it's like, this is exhausting. What am I? <laughs> Are we doing all of these or just the good ones? Okay, what do you think about Vito's inability to dress nicely to anything ever? <laughs> that looks fine. Oh, my God, that reminds me. Uh, we're coming here, we're driving in, and I said, we should have dressed like the Blues Brothers. And Vito said... And Vito said, you're right, I could have rented a suit. <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? So you don't... I don't have a Blues Brothers suit. You don't have a suit? Do you have a suit? I have a suit somewhere. In the store? It probably doesn't fit anymore. Because it's too big? Exactly. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> All right, guys, we have one. Do you have any more left? You have I don't to, know. Bro, you have to have a suit. Pulling up at a warehouse, that's not a problem. That's a solution. Yeah. Uh, these are all dumb. What are these ones? I think, I think this bit is right. This, this bit's run its course. Already. Eczema on your guys. balls? <laughs> Derek, what is going on in your life? False advertising. We have to do the way in. We need the way in. It's not going to go good. Say your name. You're the uh, you're the proctor of this of this examination that we're doing. I'm the uh, proctor proctor. You remember what the first what he started at, right? Three ten. It was three eleven to like three ten point four six, and then it dropped. And last and then it went time it was up. Like, I think last time you were at two ninety six, right? No. It's not gonna go good, guys. <laughs> no, don't let him step on yet. Don't let him step on yet. I think last last time you were at two ninety six, right? Here, here, here. The microphone weighs like 20 pounds. Well, just yeah, talk I'll... into it for a fucking second. You're well, so eager to say I'm a fat piece of shit. I don't have anything else to say. All and right. Then, and then what? Oh, give me that. I'll hold it. Fat piece I'll hold it. What the fuck is this? All right, Tom, Tom, you have to read it instantly as soon as it becomes clear. 299.2. 299.2. He went up three pounds. He went up. He went up. Boom. Beat all lust, beat all lust, beat all lust. It went up, it went up, 301, 301, 301, it went up, 301. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Shut up, everybody shut up. <laughs> wait, wait. No, no, look at his foot. He's fucking around. He's fucking around. He's trying to fuck around because he doesn't see how physics work. Get back on there. Get, fuck, get the back it's on there. It's still 301 with the there. cheating. Get back on there. 
What is it? Take off your glasses. 301. 301! It went up! Loser! Beat a lust! Beat a lust! Beat a lust! Ah, uh, there, there, there. That's it. That's all the show, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. I'm getting back on the. How's that diet. broccoli? It's gonna be great. It's well, been a weird month, all right. I've been stress eating. I'm still down from the height. That's good. I love you guys. Yeah, it's on carpet. That's the problem. Yeah, we should do it on a magic carpet. That'll help. <laughs> well, All right, let's guys. go get some drinks at the bar next Let's so do know. it. We got to clean up here, obviously, because of the niggler. Uh, at the next door, I think, the, uh, is the compadre? Oh, El compadre, is it open? You guys figure it out. Yeah. Thank you for coming. What are we supposed to do with this? We're gonna sell it. Throw it away. Guys, uh, Riley, what did it cost you to make a flag? Bro, how do we help? Give us five bucks for a flag. I don't know. Let's just throw. Make it these. Ten bucks for a shirt. How's that? How many people would buy a shirt for ten bucks? All right, we'll make it ten bucks. Uh, Lowest I got is large. Anybody want to 